All right, everybody. Wow, we look what we're in. We're in a convertible Nissan Murano. They call it the Cabriolet. This one is a 2014 model with 125,000 miles, white with the light parchment, or some may call it tan interior. Now, this is definitely different. And uh, I just got done watching some videos on YouTube about it. Of course, I watched the Doug DeMiro video and got his, you know, perspective of this car. And then I went and watched another video of a person that did a video kind of like um, explaining his thoughts about this car since he's a owner of one. And he was kind of, you know, talking about some of the stuff Doug was saying and you know just giving his thoughts on it and uh so anyways now we are in the year 2021 just a few days before thanksgiving in november and here in charleston the weather is absolutely wonderful as you can see so stay with us let's get the video started on the murano cabriolet is waving at me they're honking at me they're saying he's in a nissan murano cabriolet convertible wow is that not incredible well first let's see what kind of acceleration we got here we go let's hit it oh not bad not a whole lot of power but enough you know you got to remember at the end of the day this is a convertible Murano it is not a BMW it is not a Mercedes it is a Nissan Murano convertible this thing is super super duper unique different and to be honest with you you just don't see a whole lot of these at all you know they were only made for a few years this one's a 2014 model and uh and they didn't make a whole lot of them. And when vehicles are only made for a few years, that means that there's not as many in circulation out there. And then now, all these years later, we're in 2021, and they've quit making these for a while now. Um, you know, some of them may get in car accidents and get totaled and, you know, all those different types of things. And that's why you just don't see as many of them on the road. And I don't know how many people bought them because again, it's kind of a vehicle that not just anyone is gonna buy. Um, you first got to like the look of it. You got to want a convertible. And then you got to like the way it looks again. So let's, uh, let's get out and see if some of y'all like the way it looks. Because it's definitely different. Anyways, interior is super nice. It's clean. It's got leather wood trim it's got a bow stereo system navigation i mean it's got like all the bells and whistles that you would want on a uh two-door convertible back in 2014. yeah let's go take a look at it so there it is the murano cabriolet what do you think again kind of unique different it's a two-door and I kind of like it. It's just different, right? That's what I like about it. That it's something that not everybody else has. The nose on it in the front. Yeah, that, that definitely is a Nissan Murano for sure. I think white is a really nice color on this one. I've seen a lot of them online, you know, in the grays. But there's something about this white with the light interior that makes this vehicle pop. I think the one that Doug DeMiro also reviewed was kind of just like this. I mean, this basically is fully loaded. All wheel drive, got all the little bells and whistles on the inside. Um, condition wise, well, let's have a look because at the end of the day, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm letting you see the condition of a used vehicle. And most of these cars that I film usually have just a bit under 100,000 miles or over. This one had 125K condition of it i'd say is actually pretty good 
So someone did some driving with it, right? A lot of convertibles that we get from time to time have low mileage on them. Even older convertibles will have lower mileage. For example, we have a Saab 93 right now from 1999 with 16,000 miles. We have a Pontiac Solstice at the store in white with like 50,000 miles or maybe even 30. Um, got a Mustang convertible right now with 60,000 miles from 1996. So again, a lot of the time, convertible vehicles just aren't driven as much. People park them in their garages and they just kind of go out on the weekends to the beach, church, things like that. Anyways, the rear end looks pretty nice. It's dueled out with the exhaust, all wheel drive, of course. It does have your backup camera. It's got this cool little antenna here for XM Sirius satellite radio. And again, it is in beautiful condition. I mean, the paint looks phenomenal. There's no dents, there's no dings. I mean, I just don't see a whole lot of uh, cosmetic issues with the car. The silver looks nice on the bottom. You got Michelin tires on it and look how nice the tires are. They're knee deep in tread and good looking alloy wheels. They seem to be kind of big. They look like 20s to me. Let me get a little closer look here and see what size we got. Yep, 20 inch wheels on a Nissan Murano. I like it, it's different. And also inside of the fender wells, it's a different type of material. If you can see what I'm talking about, it kind of, yeah, it's a little bit softer, almost like, like an outdoor rug, you know, that you would put out there on your front porch, which should actually, I'll tell you why they do this, at least in my opinion, that right there makes it a little bit quieter if rocks and things like that fling up into the fender wells, right? You don't have to hear it as much when driving down the road. Gas tank still on, you got it, on the driver's side, like most Japanese cars. Let's go ahead and look at the interior. Well, here's the back seats. You could fit some friends in here. Now, I have the two front seats pretty far back, but you can actually go right here, and look at this. You can move these seats in the front on either side with these buttons to give yourself more leg room in the rear. So that's kind of cool. Look, it goes back, forward, up, down. Okay, that's great. If someone's wanting to slide into the back, they hit those buttons and do that. If you ever wonder what these are for, this is for the seat belts. You just clip those in, the seat belt goes right through there. You also have cup holders, two big size cup holders, and rear air vents. This is pretty good stuff. Even got some speakers right back there. Now, the front, nice looking steering wheel. You got, looks like you got Bluetooth on there for your phone audio controls for the radio, cruise control over here, voice command Bluetooth there, navigation screen right there, and, uh, and all your buttons and controls, and you got your start stop engine button. Also has down bottom heated seats, automatic transmission, and a nice looking color for wood trim. I really do like the color of the wood trim there. Speakers though, you got Bose stereo, as you can see on the logo there on the door panel, and it's even got a center mount speaker up on the dash. So condition-wise, it's a beautiful car, folks. I mean, it's in really nice shape. Now, Doug DeMiro, he kind of gave his opinion of the car. And a lot of times, people don't always agree with what Doug says. He gives it his Doug score and all, right? And I understand, not everybody is going to always agree with what Doug says. And especially... If you're someone that actually owns this vehicle, you may not agree with what he says because you own it and you'd be a little more partial to the car than he is. Now, I like the shocks on the hood to hold it up. And there's that V6 engine right there. Look how clean this is. So anyways, you know, with my videos, I'm not here to bash the car. I cannot always give you my honest opinion of a car as far as if I like it or not because it is not my place to say that because at the end of the day this is not my car I don't own it I don't have the title to it so that opinion doesn't matter I'm here to show it to you and let you decide if this car would be for you right what would be a, a car salesman would not be a good car salesman if he said that car's ugly. I don't like it. Wouldn't drive it. And I sure as heck wouldn't sell it to you. 
That's not, you know, that's not what a car salesman would do. Car salesmen, whether they like it or not, would say this is a good car, quality car. It's clean and good condition. Go online, look at the reviews for yourself, read up about it, and base your own opinion off of it. That's what a good car salesman will do. And at the end of the day, make sure you're happy with what you're purchasing. Make sure the price is what you like it for, right? We come across the price sometimes with the car business. We want to make sure that the price of a car is in a good position to where a bank, in some cases, will do the loan for it. But anyways, pricing is here or there with this vehicle as far as getting into it in this video because this is really more or less showing you the condition of this Murano. But I'll tell you, it's a nice shape. Now I'm having a little bit of an issue right now getting this trunk to open up. Why would that be? I hit the button. It should open up. Maybe I'm not giving it enough strength. I'm, there we go. Okay, never mind. All right. Now, I will tell you, it's not a massive trunk. It's just not. But you could get some groceries back here. When this top is down like it is right now, this is the space you have. The top is sitting right inside of here. So that's the top in the trunk. That's the trunk space you have. You're not buying the vehicle because you are wanting a ton of rear cargo space. Just saying. All right, moving right along today, folks. I hope you're enjoying the video. But after watching a little bit of video footage and talking about this car on YouTube today, it is nice to kind of see what others have to say about cars uh, people that actually aren't trying to sell them all right now if you want to do the top on it what you're going to do is you're going to put your foot on the brake and see this button down here we're going to hit close and as you'll see in just a moment here it will start doing what it should do it's moving and it's moving pretty quick Now it's coming closed. It's got to finish doing what it's doing in the back. And boom, the top is down. It's locked in place. And the last step, well, I think that's it. Now, sometimes the last step would be all the windows going up. One thing that I think is really kind of neat with this, with the windows down and the top up, look how it's just all open like that. Isn't that neat? I really like it. Now, another thing I heard on videos today was, yeah, there's blind spots, you know? Of course there is. You got that section right there. It's a big section between that back window and these side windows. Absolutely, you got a blind spot right there. You just kind of have to get over that or drop the top back and don't have a blind spot, okay? Yes, the back window is a little different. It's two small windows there that go sideways to the left and right. They're not big, but they're wide. That is what it is. There's no getting over that, folks. Okay? It's just a different vehicle, and it's different than anything you've ever seen before. Another thing that I watched the guy say when going down the road, he said, well, it is a bit noisy inside the car when driving, right, with the top up. And I immediately thought to myself, dude, you're driving a convertible. Please remember, you're inside of a convertible vehicle. Go out and drive a soft top Jeep Wrangler and tell me if it isn't very similar in the way it sounds when going down the road. So yeah, it might be a little noisy, but I'm gonna tell you the truth right now. While sitting in here, it's a windy day today, a lot of cars on the road. And it's actually pretty quiet in here. It's really not that noisy. All right, everybody, we will do one more drive. I'm gonna show you the top up and then we'll head back to the Southern Motor Company. I'm gonna tell you the price and all that good stuff here today. All right, here's what she looks like with the top up. 
still looks pretty cool. Again, when I saw this car come into our store uh, yesterday off the 18-wheeler, I immediately went, oh, man, there's one of those Murano convertibles. That's neat, you know? Because, again, you just don't see them all the time. I mean, it's been a couple years since I've seen one of these things in person. So let me know what you think.